Hey everyone, PJ here, and today I'm going to talk about someone who goes by ScorePN here on YouTube, who made this video right here, The Disappointing Return of Celebrity Deathmatch. This video was posted a year ago, but I still wanted to make a response video to it anyway. Now, before we start, I need to say this. This is not a hate video towards ScorePN. This is just me throwing my two cents into the ring, no pun intended. I have nothing against ScorePN as a person or as a content creator. So, with that out of the way, let's get started. Celebrity Deathmatch is one of the greatest shows ever made, but it was cancelled after its fourth season, but a few years later, in 2006, it was brought back due to popular demand. But, it wasn't brought back with the same crew that created the original. And as a huge fan of the series, I'd like to show you all exactly why seasons 5 and 6 were horribly executed and likely butchered any chances of the show making another comeback. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. Personally, I like the reboot since it's the version I grew up with and the version I had the most nostalgia for, but I understand why some people don't like it. I think what hurt the reboot the most was the fact that Eric Fogel wasn't involved since I think he was working on another show at the time, but I wouldn't say that it butchered any chance for a future season since I believe if they bring back Eric Fogel as a writer for the second reboot, this one might have more of a chance. Also, the reboot not having the same cast and crew as the original will be touched upon later. So well, let's start by taking a look at the first episode of its return for season 5. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Johnny Gomez, here with Nick Diamond. Three long, hard years of professional decline, spiraling ever downward from hosting highline matches to mall openings to children's birthday parties, and finally hitting rock bottom as a recurring character on Reba. Glad to see that our favorite hosts are back, but what do they do to Johnny? His hair, why is it red? His eyes, why are they black instead of green? I know they're just small nitpicks, but couldn't they give him their exact features correctly? Yeah, character redesigns have always been a very controversial subject in the world of animation. Personally though, I don't really have a problem with it. Saying the show was coming back, well it caught me by complete surprise. It caught everyone by surprise, Johnny. Oh my god, what the hell did they do to Nick Diamond? How was this in any way funny? This is the best they could think of for a joke on Nick? They don't even explain why he suddenly has a boob job. They just say, oh, a lot has happened since the series was cancelled, and expect you to just buy that as an explanation. That's bullshit. Why didn't they give us, like, a flashback clip? I would have loved to have seen what they went through after its cancellation. The flashback clips were some of the best moments in the show. Like when they went to Tijuana and got in a bar fight. That shit was hilarious. Personally, I disagree. I think making it ambiguous as to why Nick suddenly has boobs makes it funnier, but that's just me. Besides, even if they did show a flashback, I likely would have just skipped it anyway, since I always skip through the flashback sections. What is this character development bullshit? Get back to the carnage! So the first fight is Paris Hilton versus Nicole Richie. Remember when these two pamper hoes were given too much attention on TV? Were these the first bitches to be famous because someone in their family was famous? Damn. They started the whole talentless attention phase, didn't they? Yep, and sadly, it's still going on to this day, with people who seem to be famous just because. Before the fight begins, they get interviewed, and their interviewer is not Debbie Matinopoulos? What the fuck? Where's Debbie? Who's this? Tally Wonk? Let me look her up. She was solely made for these next two seasons? Aw, oh, man, well, what the hell? Why didn't they bring Debbie back? She was hilarious. I couldn't find any interviews about why she didn't return for this new season, but maybe it was for the best, seeing as season five and six just, they, they couldn't compare to the previous four seasons. But it kind of sucks that they couldn't even bring her up or mention why she's not back either. Yeah, I couldn't find anything either. But I read somewhere that she got put on a maternity leave. As for why they didn't just have someone else voice her character like they did with Mills Lane, well, that's unknown. My guess is that she probably didn't want anything to do with the show after season 4. But either way, as much as it sucks to see her go, I respect her decision and the network's decision to remove her character from the reboot. <sighs> I miss Debbie. Let's go down to our ref, the irrepressible Mills Lane. Alright ladies, I want you to keep it. 
Jesus Christ, what did they do to Mills Lane? That's fucking horrendous. His face is so goddamn swollen. How did they look at this and say, yup, that looks exactly like him? They couldn't just take the clay models from before? Or replicate it? It's not like they couldn't use clay models from the previous seasons. The audience consists of celebrities from previous seasons. There's Bruce Willis, Nick Nolte, Katie Couric next to Nick Nolte, Joey from NSYNC, that's Ozzy Osbourne, there's Macaulay Culkin, Ben Affleck, Farrell Fawcett, AJ from Backstreet Boys, Shania Twain, but no original Mills Lane? And not even the voice actor? Yeah, I agree with you there, but I understand why they did it. Using Mills Lane's original model wouldn't have really been fair to him, and also would have looked out of place compared to everyone else. I can understand using the old models for the audience, since it saves time and money on creating a model for each individual member of the audience. Plus, it's a nice easter egg for fans of the original series. As for him not being voiced by the real Mills Lane like he was in the original, well, the network wanted Mills Lane to reprise his role as himself, but unfortunately, he suffered a stroke in 2002 which left him unable to provide any voice work, so the role was given to Chris Edgeley instead. And if the show does get a second reboot, Mills won't be able to come back this time either, because he unfortunately passed away back in 2022. So, their fight wasn't really entertaining. Their dialogue was unfunny, Paris was just getting her ass kicked the entire time, and even though the end result of Paris losing looked stunning, she was set on fire by a perfume. A perfume that acted as a blowtorch. I know things don't necessarily need to be believable, but they couldn't think of a better way to set her on fire. You know, like, a creative way. I can accept that she loses due to fire because she's always saying, that's hot, and because you know she's not smart enough to drop and roll to attempt to put herself out. But a perfume that acts like a blowtorch, that, that's just not creative in this situation at all. Bad execution. I mean, I guess Nicole's perfume acting as a blowtorch was meant to reference her perfume having, quote, attitude. But if she's seriously selling perfume that ignites the moment it comes out of the spray nozzle, she must be a real sadist. The next match is Bam Margera versus Tony Hawk. I don't think these two should have been matched up against each other. We've already seen them challenge each other on Tony Hawk's Underground 2, and to me that's more than enough. But a fight to the death between the two? Hell no. There are way better choices for both combatants. For example, Bam could have gone up against Steve-O since both of them would record countless stunts growing up. That actually would have been lit, not gonna lie. But Steve-O would instead be put up against Andy Milanakis. For some reason. It was still a pretty funny fight nonetheless. As for Tony Hawk, have him challenge Tony Alva, calling it like Battle of the Pro Tonys. Or, better yet, Tony Hawk vs. Matt Hoffman. I'd love to see that. The pro skater versus pro BMX rider himself. Personally, I like the second matchup better. A skater versus a BMX rider sounds lit as fuck. Or what about Tony Hawk versus Rob Deerdeck? That would also be a pretty interesting fight in my opinion. They weren't thinking with perfect matchup ideas here. I think it's obvious that they only chose Bam because he was popular as hell in the mid-2000s. So the fight begins. It's very forgettable. There's nothing that will make you want to rewatch this fight at all. It's just corny as hell to say the least. Then, one of the stupidest and most pointless moments occurs out of nowhere. A masked man that's clearly Michael Jackson shows up and starts attacking Tony Hawk? Why? No explanations, and this... this is ridiculous in so many levels. Because for starters, Michael Jackson died in the second season! Characters will only be brought back if they somehow manage to survive against their opponent like with Leonardo DiCaprio and Courtney Love, but Michael Jackson melted in acid. There's no coming back from that. Not unless they use the time machine or sell someone, well, trade someone's soul in place for, you know, for the devil, like they did with NSYNC and uh, Backstreet Boys. Well, that didn't stop Carson Daly, Missy Elliott, Nick Lachey, or Shaquille O'Neal from coming back. Yeah, consistency is not the show's strong point. So how the hell and why the hell is Michael Jackson back? Don't tell me that he's back just because they wanted to make fun of him since there was a vast amount of jokes and parodies thrown at Michael Jackson during the mid-2000s. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you that. Even though that's most likely the case. The clay models looked awful. 
the jokes fall flat, the fights are so bad that I'm pretty sure the creators of Celebrity Deathmatch Hits Germany made them. Yeah, I'm going to have to disagree with you there. The reboot has its flaws, and it doesn't hold a candle to the original, but it's nowhere near as bad as Celebrity Deathmatch Hits Germany, because that show is ass. Pure, unadulterated ass. And they completely ruined Nick Diamond and Mills Lane. And there's still more crap to look at here since I'm going to be analyzing seasons 5 and 6. And so far, this is how long it's taken me just to analyze the first freaking episode. God help me. And considering that he hasn't posted about the show since this video, I'm guessing he just decided it wasn't worth it and noped out. So, anyway, that's where I'm going to leave off. But what do you think? Do you like the Celebrity Deathmatch reboot, or do you prefer the original? Also, I highly recommend checking out Scorpion's channel if you have the time. The guy makes great content, and his channel is criminally underrated in my opinion. But with that, my name is PJ, and I'm going to go get ice cream. You ain't never gonna slow me down, cause I feel alive now.